In general, the Gulf of Mexico is mud and sand flats, just general flat sandy bottom. So there's not a lot of structured habitat, but we have reef fish, things like um, red snapper. So artificial reefs create a surrogate habitat for these fish to use. So it's likely that these fish have um, increased in their population abundance because we have these areas. I'm astounded by the diversity of species that are out there. You have things that basically run the gamut between the top predators of the system, things like sharks and barracudas, um, to fish that specialize in um, eating corals and sponges and microhabitats, you know, really just a wide array of species with different roles in the ecosystem. So there's a lot of evidence that the red snapper populations we see today wouldn't be here if there wasn't these oil and gas platforms. See the grouper back there, this sighting here, you know, this is one of the few in many years for this area. Well, fish are important economic drivers, and red snapper happens to be one of those fisheries that's heavily targeted. The Texas Coastal Bend area uh, benefits greatly from people coming down to this area to fish and to go out diving and do all of these on the water activities that are generally related to um, these artificial reefs. As there's about 4,000 of these rigs out in the Gulf of Mexico, these oil and gas producing platforms. About 75% of those will be gone in the next 20 years. And so we're very concerned that we get these in reef programs so they can continue to producing the fish. What we do is try to develop the best science. If you're gonna create artificial reefs, we wanna create them in a way that they're going to have um, the maximum productivity. So these are the legs of the, of the old oil and gas rig, and they've been sawn off from the main part and then toppled over. The red snapper, uh, they seem to like these lower-lying habitats. While one type of reef might be better for uh, commercial species like snapper, uh, another type might be better for diversity. When we get back, we have a large amount of video to go through. We identify every single fish of species that we see um, and we also count the total number of each species at a given time. One of our major projects is an acoustic telemetry system. So basically what we can do is set up you know an array of these acoustic receivers at different stations and track the fish movements uh, in between those stations. For the most part these fish, like red snapper, tend to stick around these reefs for an extremely long period of time. Uh, we have examples of animals that have been around the same reef for years. Um, there's new reefs going in, literally as we speak, they're putting concrete blocks in the water and we're monitoring these. We've, we've done assessments beforehand and then now assessments after they're being placed, literally the day of through you know years after, and we can look at how that's changing through time. Fisheries on our time scale can be renewed. They, they replenish themselves. So if we manage them properly, there'll always be enough there for future generations.